tonight's games. Are Arsenal going to go top tonight? Well, to go to, yeah, I mean, they, there's no reason why they shouldn't. If they don't, then we need to talk about how scary things are looking for Arsenal. Because if they're not beating Luton at home, they've got some some bigger issues. Um, so, yeah, they have to go top. They have to. They must. They will. They Surely they will. Surely they will tonight. And by, by, by a comfortable score, would you say, Mo, or do you see this being a close game? Uh, n- comfortable score, like two-goal margin or something. But the, the, to be honest, the game today it's going to be exciting against Luton. is an exciting team to play against. I, I'm I'm looking forward to the game. Um, I don't think Arsenal will slip today. To be honest, I'm, I'm just looking at the the Saturday game against Brighton. But I, I, it's at home. I think Arsenal will smash Luton. I'll be very surprised if Arsenal don't win today. Um, a lot of people said that the downfall will start here after the Man City game. I, I don't think we'll see it. We'll, we won't see the downfall. Um, Listen, Luton have a lot of injuries. If Arsenal don't win, then no excuses for Arsenal, to be honest. I actually believe they actually should rest some players for Saturday. Uh, some players. They have to use the squad. Yeah, I don't I think know why people are saying players starting 11. And no, now Mikel Arteta saying Saka's no, fit. Who I, I, we'll just I, play I, I other agree. players. I, I agree. I think they have to rotate a little bit because they've got Champions League games coming. And no, just, it's Luton at home. And Arsenal have... It's an Arsenal winning winning this game tonight. Um, I, if gonna, you are struggling mm, against Luton at home, it's not about struggling. It's not about. No, let me finish. Let me finish. If Go you on. are struggling, if 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 you are struggling against Luton at home, if you rotate three, four players or two, three players, I think you have you have a big problem. Yeah, because yeah. The Champions I, League is coming, and even coming if they struggle, like the because Luton and, Luton have made a lot of teams home and away struggle. Arsenal will still win. As much as everybody goes, oh, Luton, they've barely won a game this year, especially away from home. Even at home, everyone goes, oh, they're so hard at home. They've only won three home games. It's not as though they're actually taking the point. Arsenal have beaten tonight by at least three clear goals, I think. I think they will, Arsenal. There is that kind of theory going around. The Spurs fans said it on their match reaction show on the terrace last night, that it's April now, and this is where the downfall of Arsenal's season begins. Do you do you see that happening, Lawless? Are Arsenal giving you signs right now that they're gonna have a collapse in them and fall out of this title race? Not necessarily science, and I don't think this is the game where it happens. But I, I think it's gonna come because they're playing like a game every three days. You know that the the fixtures I think and the the congested fixtures are gonna catch up with them um, big time. You know between the Premier League and the Champions League. So I do think it will happen. I could potentially see it at Brighton away. I think that is much more likely. So, yeah, I, I, honestly, I, I don't predict them to win the league. I know you, you do, Terry. I don't predict them no, to I win the league. No, I don't. I don't. Oh, I predicted okay. Liverpool. Liverpool. Fair enough. All right, fair enough. Okay, but yeah. So, yeah. So, 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 yeah. So, so by our predictions, Terry, at this stage with how many games left, they've got to have their downfall soon, haven't they? Unless we predict that Liverpool are going to win every game. Can I ask you a question? Because I know you'll take this. When you say downfall, yeah, expand it. on that for me okay. because Th- thank you. That would no. Th- I'm listen. I used your word by the way because you you asked me about that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Lord, is that downfall, smirk and that smile is? Yeah, downfall to me is is them what we saw last season. You know what I mean? Where they start to drop points in games they should be winning, right? And they and you start to see them capitulate a little bit um, and they drop off where, you know, if they go to the last day and they don't win it, you can't really call it a downfall. They fell short. Right. But if it goes a couple games in a row and that's how tight it is, that's how the margins are. They could go two games in a row with no win. Then they start to look. I see no signs. I see no signs. I'm looking at this Arsenal team. The Man City game actually proves that Arteta now can play a completely different brand of football. Everyone said, I've, I've never seen Pep Guardiola defend like this, right? Arteta has defended against Man City very deep, positional players were very deep, and also created, I think, the better chances in the game at the Etihad. That proves that Arteta has plan B. That proves that Arteta proved people wrong, proved everyone wrong, that he can defend. He doesn't have to, that he's learning, he's adapting, right? So in my opinion, I see no signs 
of Arsenal downfall. If it happens, I'll be surprised. Uh, the only thing that can hurt them is the if they go to the Ch- uh, Champions League semi-final and that the games are, are too much for them, too many. But you still, you don't have the cup, so you'll have uh, days off. Uh, so, in my opinion, I think I see no signs. And I see that, I see a lot of people starting to say what Terry's have said. The downfall is going to happen now, the last 10 games of the season. I see no signs. I see the people that are saying they're just hating. Uh, you just want it to happen, and you're hoping that you're right. You're 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 given a hot take. You're given a take, hoping that it comes through and to say I'm right. I actually don't see like I don't see any signs of it. They literally went to the Etihad, limited Man City to one chance from a set piece, and the guy adapted. He still created chances. Yes, they're gonna play against Bayern Munich. The only thing that I'm asking is the mentality. And again, they have they have had some games when they did a win, and they went to Dubai and came back. And look at them now. Eight games on the bounce, went to the Etihad, didn't lose, played a good game. And I am. Is there time for another Dubai trip, though, Mo? Is there time for another Dubai trip? And, why are you but, assuming that, Lawless? Why? Why are you assuming this? I'm just why asking. Why you and the rest so, of the fans are assuming this? No, but don't Based you. On what? Don't you? Don't you worry about? Well, not worry, but but don't you think that the fixtures playing worried, pretty man. much every three good. days for them, right? Do you not think this team? A predominantly young team. Do you not think it's going to catch up on them playing? The, the, so that's, that's the that's reason. Just... So your reason is the amount of games. That's your reason. I think that's going to be a big factor. I think that is a big factor, and that's not the only that's, reason. Ca- because is it because they have a thin squad or because they haven't done it before? Because I'm telling you from now, all of those Manchester elements. City at the current moment, Manchester City, Pep Guardiola isn't finding his best formula. The formula that we saw last season, start in February, Pep Guardiola is trying to chop and change. Foden on the left, Bernardo on the right, Doku on the right, Doku on the left. Is it Rodri and Kovacic or is it Rodri by himself? Is it Foden in the 10 and Foden on the right? Mm-hmm. We aren't seeing the same Manchester City. Or so, uh, Mo, here you the- go. I- I'll answer this then because you're, okay, we're not seeing the same. They're, they're disjointed. You was just talking about the draw that yes. Arsenal got like it was a win. They limited them, them to this chance. They, yes, they went and got the draw. And you're talking about as if it's a win when this definitely. Arsenal team has been hyped to the moon as a team that should be able to go toe-to-toe mm. with a team like City, especially a disjointed team who haven't found their rhythm, yeah? I so, think you're so just is... a rival. Lawless, I think you're just a rival. No team in the world will go to the Etihad and be favourites, including Real I'm not Madrid, saying be favorites, Bayern Munich, compete, including compete. Liverpool, who are top of the league. Liverpool, who are top of the league. You can't tell me that any fan around the world will, if Liverpool play Manchester City tomorrow at the Etihad and they get a draw, no matter how bad. By the way, I never said Man City are bad. Man City are still third in this league. Man City are one point behind Arsenal, so Man City still have the best coach in the world. I see no one around the world saying that any team should go to the Etihad and win, but Arsenal. No, it's not the that only they team around the world that people are judging I, them to tell them they one win. Look, I, I look at it this way. You are right. I, I was looking at the games when you said it. They play on the 3rd, they play on the 6th, they play on the 14th. Uh, sorry, they play on the, the, the ninth. Like they, They've got a lot of games coming up, Arsenal. What's interesting, and this is not, I, I take your point on board, is last year when it fell apart, what a lot of people spoke about, as in not Arsenal fans and Ar- Arsenal players, but rivals, was this is the problem when you're playing one game per week. You have too long to dwell on things. And I remember, I want to say it was Bernardo Silva. It may have been a different person in the Man City squad when he was asked, it might have been Gundogan, when they were asked a question of, have you not got, in when before Arsenal's collapse, he was asked a question, but you've got a lot more games coming up than Arsenal. What do you make of it? And his response was, no, we think it's better because you have very little time to sit and dwell. It's You play a game, you recover, you prep for the next game, so your mind is always active, and it's easier for you in these title races when you've got more games and less games. And that's anecdotal from, from, from one of the City players. And I've they've also had heard... the death theory as well. Yeah, yeah no, I understand that. So well, I'm, I'm, I'm not, that, yeah. again, I'm not saying you're, 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 you're wrong. I'm really intrigued to see how Arsenal handle this. Do I think, again, I think when people say they're going to have a collapse or it's going to be their downfall, I think it's important to, to, to challenge them on what they mean by that because I agree with you. They they drop a game, points in a few games, but so do the other two, and they miss out on winning the league by a point or two. I don't think that's a collapse. I don't think it's a downfall. It's just they weren't quite good enough to win the league. If, for instance, they, they're right now three points, two points off top, 
superior goal difference. The league ends and they finish eight points off top with a worse goal difference than the other two. I would look at that as a collapse at the end of the season because you were in it. And then with if, if with three games to go, they're completely out of it. I would say that's a collapse. Right now, there's no signs of that happening. It's not happening tonight against Luton. I know it was at the beginning of the They're winning that game against Luton. Brighton away is obviously a tough game for people. Brighton don't win a lot, but they also draw a lot of games as well. They don't lose a lot, Brighton. So I'm intrigued to see that one. Then they've got Villa at home. They've got the Bayern Munich game sandwiched between them. They've got Wolves away that's been tough. Like they've got a really big... They play one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They play eight games in April. And I want to throw it out there. I'm assuming if they beat Bayern Munich, there could be another game at the back end of April as a Champions League semi-final that's not currently in the calendar. Yes. Maybe. I'm not too sure when those dates are. So they've got a really, really busy April. And, and what I like about looking at this from the outside is you've got Arsenal fans obviously praying they win. And there are rivals everywhere. Like, please collapse. Please fall apart. It's going to be an amazing month. Watch it's going to be amazing. Collapse. Watch the world collapse if Arsenal draw Brighton. Everyone, including myself, will tell uh, will tell an Arsenal that going to Brighton away, who haven't lost a game at home since September, right? Man City and Arsenal both go to Brighton away. If Arsenal drop points, people will come and say, we told you so. Well, we're not looking at Brighton, who gave Liverpool a good game and haven't lost at home. But what, I'm but the thing is, I am, my predictions is actually both Man City and Arsenal will drop points against Brighton. I tell you what the problem is, Lolis. People mm. judge Arsenal based on how their fans talk about their club. But I never judge a player. I yeah. never, like, I judge them based on how I'm viewing the club. Because, by the way, if we judge Man City based on how their fans talk about their club, every point dropped from Man City is a massive failure. <laughs> yeah, every yeah. single game. Not every game they don't score City five. Fans, every game they don't fans. score five is a yeah, failure. City, City fans, on City...